Hello Civ fans, today we are going to be taking a look at the new game mode, Industry, Corporations, and Monopolies. Um, so let's jump right into it. So how does this work? Um, so there's basically three parts to this new game mode. There's Industries, Corporations, and Monopolies. Uh, industries are unlocked with currency, and later when you unlock economics, you can upgrade your industries to corporations. Now, monopolies are separate from these two, uh, it, from industries and corporations. They're all about just controlling uh, resources. So what does an industry do? So uh, the, an industry is a tile improvement made by a builder, and it can only be built on a tile with a luxury resource when you have two of that luxury resource. Um, and by have, I mean you've put down a plant, like two plantations or two mines or whatever uh, you need to have that resource. So once you like basically acquire that, um, then that means you have it. Um, and there's a limit of one industry per city. Um, and it has some additional effects um, depending upon uh, which resource you are improving. Uh, but the base sort of yield you get from an industry is uh, two food, two production, and one gold, and you also get one great merchant point. So let me just show you an example of how you go about building an industry. So here we have two wine resources here, um, and I'll just should go through it. So first off, you got your builder going, your builder guy. Bring them over to the tile, plop down a plantation, right? Go over, plop down another plantation. And then on that plantation, once you have those two plantations, you can put down an industry. So uh, I should tell you here that the industry replaces the plantation. So you're not getting the plantation and the industry benefit. You're going to get the plant, just the industry bonus on top of that that wine resource and whatever else uh, that tile has going for it. And here just a summary of the different effects of all the different resources uh, based on the industry. So these all affect your city. So you're not going to really, uh, I don't, I'm not sure if you if you hover the, over them. Uh, you might actually see the in the, the description when you hover over uh, the industry, but uh, here are all the different effects that you get. Um, I try to look as if it's like tied to the base yield of some of the resources, but some of them don't make sense. Like amber, for example, it gives you culture, but in this case, uh, the fact is you get faith to the city. So um, it's not exactly tied to the yield of the resource. It's kind of just... Um, does whatever like it, it kind of seems to be whatever like jade for example i think that provides culture but in this case it provides you gold to the city um so feel free to screenshot this or look up on the wiki um what, what it says um because sometimes it's kind of confusing for the most part it, it it does sort of align with what you would expect so like turtles and mercury and tea, th those all give uh, science yields. So um, you get plus 15% science in those cities. Um, some of these, again, they don't make a ton of sense. Like I guess for the production military units kind of is kind of interesting. Like uh, oranges, I don't really understand. Well, I guess if you have like a navy, right? Um, you know, uh, scurvy was a big problem and you need need the oranges for the scurvy, right? So um, I guess you could come up with explanations for some of these, but this is just what it is. Now on to corporations. So corporations um, are built by a great merchant, not by a builder. Um, and you only need one charge left on your merchant to be able to use, um, put, put this corporation down. So a corporation can be built on a tile with an industry when you have three of that luxury resource. resource sorry. Um, so bit like an upgrade from your industry. So industry needs two, corporation needs three. And again, limit one industry, uh, not industry, but corporation per city. Um, and because you have one industry per city, you can only have one corporation. Um, so the 
corporation also double the doubles the effect of that industry. So uh, remember that slide from before. Imagine everything that you saw on that slide just times two. And it allows your city to perform the city project, create new products, uh, which are important. So products are like, imagine if you had the industry, but in another city, right? So when you create a product, so example, say you create a, a wine product in a city with a corporation. So now you can move this wine product to any city with a stock exchange or seaport. And then that city will get the effect of that industry. So uh, yeah, so it allows you to move all these uh, great benefits around. And th the base benefit of a corporation is uh, four, plus four food, plus three gold, and plus 10 production, which is great. Um, and so again, I, I should reiterate that corporation replaces the industry. So imagine like you took off the industry and you swapped in the corporation. That's what you get. Um, so uh, this is what you get in terms of fields. Again, knowledge skill for just a quick example of how you build a corporation. So you have three wine resources here. So you get your builder guy, goes over, plants a plantation, goes over to this one, builds a, another plantation, and then he builds an industry. So now you got your industry going. And then he goes over to the third wine resource, builds a plantation. So now you have three uh, wine resources uh, in your empire. He goes back to the industry and he plops down the corporation. So corporations can only go where the industry is. So again, uh, the product effects are essentially what the industry effects are. So uh, just this is the same slide as before, just instead of saying industry is product. So just imagine uh, you can move all these things around to different cities um, that have, again, the stock exchange or seaport. So as I sort of said, monopolies are something different. They're all about controlling resource. So once you control 60% of the world's like supply of this luxury resource, you'll get a monopoly. Um, this did not require an industry or corporation. So you could get as, all these different resources and not bother with industries or corporations, and you'll still have a monopoly. Uh, and trading away your luxuries will not break your monopoly. So if you just want to trade someone something for 30 turns, that's totally fine. It's not going to change anything. So uh, here are the bonuses. So once you achieve 60%, so the, the default, what you need for monopoly, you'll get plus five gold. If you have 75% of the monopoly of, of that resource, you'll get plus 10 gold. And then once you reach, uh, if you get 100%, so if you got all of the resource, you'll get plus 25 gold. And so monopolies also boost your tourism. So it is determined by this sort of calculation here. So it's 5% times the number of improved resources that you have times the number of civilizations who do not control any. And I'll give go over a couple examples just to show you how it works. So here's an example of a monopoly. So let's pretend we are Trajan as Rome. Um, and I have a little diagram on the left here showing all the wine resources in the world. There's five resources of, of wine and we've and they're all being worked. They're all being worked. Let's say they're all being worked. So uh, the purple that's us. So we are controlling three out of the five. So we're controlling 60%. So that's um, a monopoly. So we get plus five gold. And um, as you can see that uh, Macedon, uh, Alexander has two out of the five, but he does not have enough to acquire a monopoly so he has no monopoly and we would be getting to uh, or sending tourism i guess i forget how like the culture stuff works but um because gaul here we, we have gaul in this example gaul has no uh no wine at all so uh he would be getting we'd be basically ascending or receiving 50 percent tourism from gaul in this case because 15 or uh, sorry, five times three, three resources that we have, uh, times the, the one gall, 50% uh, tourism. Uh, here's a second example. So imagine that same example, but say we went and conquered a bit of uh, Alexander. So now we have four out of the five uh, wine resources. So we have 80%. Uh, so now our monopoly would be uh, up to plus 10 gold and we'd have four resources. So uh, the tourism to 
or from Gaul is at 20% now. The third example, so imagine now Gaul conquers us, right? So imagine Gaul comes in and conquers us and takes one of the wine. So now we're at three out of five. Uh, we still have the monopoly though, because we have 60%, 60 um, so we get plus five gold, but we don't not getting any tourism because Gaul now has one of the resources. Okay, now imagine like maybe some, some barbarians come into our empire and they pillage one of our wine resources. That would suck, right? So now we only have two out of the out of the four or five uh, resources, which is not enough for monopoly. Uh, so we have no monopoly, so we don't get any gold and we don't get any tourism, tourism in that case. And that's it for this video, short and sweet. Uh, just a brief introduction of uh, the industries corporations and monopolies. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Uh, I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a good time. Uh, see you later.